you people with pets? Mm. Today is Monday and I'm off. Today is Monday and I'm off. So happy. This is my outfit. Reusable K cups so I can stop wasting so much coffee. This is a softener that is supposed to get these twists out of my hair. We'll see. And I got two packs of rubber bands and some more lotion, like I need some now. And my favorite wine, I'm good. And this one, the JRJ. These are very cheap wine. You know, if y'all know a better wine, um, actually no, I don't need expensive wine. These are great. And I'm glad they're not expensive. This one's eight, and this one's four. <coughs> Five. This one will go the wine rack, and I got some more water, um, distilled baby water, because that's all they have in the neighborhood market. I got Duncan because today's Monday and you get a hundred extra points after you order ahead. So that's what I did. London and I slept on the couch last night. Sometimes we just like to sleep on the couch. So I have to clean up. I have my blanket ladder. So I'm gonna put this blanket, this little fluffy one here on that today in my room. I watch TV. I watch TV and um, eat some breakfast. I'm still not tired of eating this thing day for breakfast sausage and um, potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know where I'm going. I, I told you, I told you. I'll be real with you, and I know nobody gives a fuck what I think anyway. Uh, I'm not for abortion. Oh, shut up.
January 11th. It's Wednesday. I'm going to Starbucks to grab breakfast for Taylor. I'm having the same breakfast that I always have. If Starbucks has this, uh, what is it called? If they have this pumpkin cream cheesecake like muffin, I'm going to get that. It said it's sold out, but you know, they always say things are sold out online. So I'm going to go to the store. She wants that impossible breakfast sandwich. I've never had that. So I don't know what it tastes like. Um, I don't know why it's changing. I had a dental appointment this morning. They were just going to do like, um, no work, just the, um, to be like tell me what I need done. It's a name for it. I can't, so I sound stupid right now. Can't think of what it's called. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna worry about that. This is not a politically correct channel. Um, so I canceled that because I don't feel like going and my tooth stopped hurting. Um, so I scheduled it for later on, uh, next week or sometime like that. I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay. So, oh, let me tell you about yesterday when I went to work. First of all, they had me delivering on the beach. Like I go to the beach for fun, I don't go to the beach to work. So I was delivering on the beach uh, by like four o'clock. I think I had finally made it to 100 stops. Now, three o'clock, it was probably even 4.30. I run through routes like when I have my route I usually run through it you know and I was so pissed on yesterday um, oh the day just got better and better so they had me on a beach it took me forever I don't like delivering on the beach um, it got dark because it gets dark at around 540 here now so when it got dark I I was done with the beach before it got dark, but I had one stop and I parked like on the road, a little on the grass. No, I think I was right on the road. So when I stepped out of the van, I would be in the grass. I was by some mailboxes. And I just felt myself slipping as I was walking a little. I stepped and dog poop. Let me tell you something. You people with pets, mm get on my nerve if you don't want to clean up after your disgusting pet don't get one that was poop that was just like there like it wasn't there two days ago it wasn't there an hour ago it's like that dog just pooped oh my god my shoes smelled so bad my band smelled so bad i'm like you know what this day right here That made me want to slap whoever the owner of that pet was, slap the pet, everything. I'm like, why would you not clean that up and you're by mailbox? It's like a set of mailbox, four, four mailboxes. You know, people are going to have to come to your mailbox. Why would you leave that dog crap right there? I was so pissed. I was ready to throw the entire shoe in the trash. I will use one pair of shoes. And they never said anyone to help me. I'm going to take a breather. Just know that yesterday was insane and i'm just so glad to be off today now this traffic is killing me i'm so glad i canceled my appointment so that happened yesterday when i got back to the station uh the manager was like um i was standing there it was a girl and another guy he was like about to leave oh i got back so late i was the very last one to get back yesterday and i only had 130 stops the day before that when i worked i did 178 stops like that anyway yesterday was horrible so when i got back to the station the manager was standing up there and he was talking he always talked crap he was like well everybody knows if you work on the beach you know you're supposed to do the beach first that way we can send people to help you so i'm sitting there listening waiting for him to pause and when he did i was like are you talking to her he's like no i'm talking to him why you got something you want to get off of your chest i was like yeah i was like i was on the beach he's like yeah and what i was like Oh my god like never i was like horrible route well it was either that or downtown what do you mean it's either that or downtown i don't do either of those routes you know i i that's not my route don't give me the crappy route when some people call out you know that's not my fault 
you know so i had to deal with that crap yesterday and the girl was like well which one would you have taken downtown or the beach i was like the beach <laughs> but still don't piss me off oh i just don't piss me off like really don't I don't know why my alarm's going off, but, oh, it's a clock in. Yeah, I know you're working on Wednesdays. Uh, Starbucks did not have, that was seasonal. That pumpkin, obviously, it's seasonal. So, they don't have that. So, I ended up having to get a red velvet loaf. Um, so, I'll see what that tastes like. And I'm going to go home and enjoy my day off. Yeah. It is Thursday night. I am home alone. I'm gonna make sure this is clean. Um, okay. So, I have a confession to make. I am white. Okay? Look, look at my hands. Can you really see? Okay, <laughs> I'm kidding. I got some coast soap um, the other night and I love the way coast, Irish spring, ivory smells, you know, all the old school soaps that you use, the bars, not the body washes, the bars. Like when you're younger, I wish we had body washes when I was younger, but we had soap, so that's what I used. <laughs> and um, I got some, I was like, oh, I want some coast. And so I got some and then I'm white. Like, I don't know if you can really see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That soap, they need to like, it smells amazing. That's why I'm using it, obviously. But there's like no moisturizing properties or whatever you wanna call it in those soaps. I am making a mess. So I'm having tuna. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I'm having tuna. I just got through cleaning. Like there were so many dishes that needed to be washed, like big things, pots and pans. So I did that off camera so you guys won't see just how lazy I am on my off days. Because I made fettuccine last night for the girls and myself. And I cleaned nothing. So right now I'm just having tuna. Oh gosh, it's everywhere. So tuna and salmon, I'm like, what am I doing here? But I like those. And they're pretty much the only two seafoods that I will make in my house. But I'm having that with some crackers. So I'm gonna make like tuna fish. Um, little crackers, you know. And I'm gonna leave these in the sink with soap and water, maybe some bleach. You know, I love bleach because this smells ugh, so bad. This is the last day for trash until Sunday. I think I'm fine. I took my trash out the other day, uh, Wednesday. So yesterday? I was forced to. Yeah. So, um, ooh, what I have to tell you guys. Oh, check this out. I guess all I have to really talk about is work nowadays. So let's go ahead and talk about that. I'm gonna wait till the water goes off. I have to run that dishwasher later. So I told you guys about how I, I was on the beach the last time I worked and the boss, no, he's not the boss, but the manager was like, well, would you rather that or downtown? <laughs> Tell me why I was downtown tonight. Not tonight, today. When I tell you, they had me delivering to hospitals and apartments. Now the apartments weren't bad, actually. 
The apartments weren't bad. I smelled that because I just used it to open the tuna cans. Okay, so that smells good now. Um, it's like having to find out where all of the... I, I hate delivering to businesses where I have to look for a person or I have to leave it in a specific area because now I'm on elevators touching these buttons and that's gross in itself. And then I'm having to find someone for sure to leave the package. It's just the hassle. Like I hate doing um, delivering to businesses, but it's part of my job and um, whatever. So I was downtown. I had 25 stops downtown. Now, on my regular rep route, I will knock off 25 stops in about 40 minutes. Downtown, I started working at 10.36. I had only delivered 22 packages by like 1.30 or something like that, like just crazy. I was downtown so long, but I knew it was gonna happen. And I hope they knew, because why am I downtown? Okay, that day is gone. I'm gonna go ahead and put that day behind me. I'm gonna make some tuna and crackers, and I'm gonna eat that. Put some wine. Eh, I have have, what is it called? I have some onions that I can put in here, but I don't think I'm gonna deal with that tonight. I was actually gonna take myself out. You remember the bucket list that I was talking about? I'm not sure how much I told you about the bucket list, but I was gonna take myself out tonight and just get some food. But I was like, you know what? Instead of doing that, because I have food, I just purchased lots of groceries. I don't know why I use the word purchase. But it is a purchase. I just got a lot of food. Not a whole lot, but I went grocery shopping. And I'm like, you know what? Eat what you have. This is what I have. That's what I'm going to eat. And then sometime or another, I'm going to call the restaurant and have them give me a total on how much the food that I want it costs, and I'm gonna, you know, just add the taxes to it. I won't ask them to give me the total with tax, but I wanna know the dish that I want it, the price for it, and whatever that costs, I'll add the tax, and I'm gonna put that money into a savings account. I am done, like I cannot keep shopping and eating out and acting as if, you know, girl, you got it. No, you don't have it, actually. You don't have it, you need to budget. And that's what I'm going to do, you know. That will eliminate me from having to, like, work so much. So that's what I'm going to do. And I guess I'll do that tomorrow or Saturday. And I'm going to just put that money into my savings account. Because God knows it needs it. I sort of like a lot of mayonnaise. The salt and pepper and will I use garlic? I don't know. I'm gonna just do salt and pepper. Let's be on the safe side here. I have not talked to London since I dropped her off because I have her phone and I don't know how to like get her on the iPad. I did FaceTime Taylor. I'm probably gonna have Taylor call me so that I can speak to London. I love my kids, you know, and let me tell you guys about my life. So I am celibate. Now this is a new year, but I've been celibate before the new year came. And you know, I'm just curious as to how long this is going to last and what I'm going to feel like, you know, I don't wanna share myself with someone that's just mediocre. And you know, just, um, I just, I love being single. Like, I don't think y'all really understand. Like, being single for me, yes, incredible. 
This is so good, I'm trying to tell you. So good. Yes, but I just really love being single. You know, I don't do like much, but I will start taking myself out on dates. And I'll just get really cute and go out. You know, someone's gonna pay for my meal when I go out. It's not like I'll be paying, so I'll still like stick to my budget and stuff. I do have a budget. The budget is to only spend money on the things that I need. Wants will come maybe once a month. I can do like a want once a month. I believe that chivalry is not dead and someone's gonna see me sitting alone and be like, yo, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're way too beautiful to be paying for your own dinner and why are you sitting alone? I was like, well, I have decided to date myself, you know, and then, but you can pick up the check, you know. Of course I'm joking-ish. I don't want to, you know, owe anyone anything, you know, so if that happens, you know, it happens. It's so incredible. I have to crackers. All right, so I'm gonna sit down, watch a movie. Um, I have some energy left. And uh, my hands are so white. I have uniforms clean for tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about getting up super early because I'm not driving and I don't have to take fun to school. So, yeah. In my book, you know, I'm winning. And that's like the best thing. Oh, okay, so it's dark. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> I'm starting to feel, I'm telling you, it's this wine, this Reuniti wine. This will put you to sleep like so quick. I'm trying to tell you. Like I had, this glass was not full. This is what I have left, but it was not full at all. And it's like, I'm already feeling the effects of it. I may end up just eating all of this before I open the crackers. <laughs> so, I want to watch, oh, there's still HBO Max. I don't know what's on there. I want to watch some of the MTV shows from back in the day. You remember when MTV was like real and they had like True Life and stuff on the hills? All that stuff. Now. I was talking to someone today and it got me to thinking, you know, we were talking about how we spoil our kids and stuff. I think I'm gonna rewatch PLL, Pretty Little Liars. Am I? Hmm. Well, anyway, 
And I got to thinking, I got to thinking like, you know, I really do spoil my kids. When my kids leave me, they will pretty much know absolutely nothing about the world. Like Taylor does nothing, you know, what are you putting out there to society? What is your contribution to society? She's 15, yes, but you know, the way things are going, it's not, it's just really not a good look for me to be the person that I am and to have like my kids not like measure up and I'm not, it's not like I'm out here like saving the world and all this stuff, but I'm a very hard worker. Now, if my kids can find a way to, you know, just make a decent living and just have like the standards that I have, I'm fine with that. But it's like, it's like a handout, you know, when you spoil your kids, it does nothing great for the rest of the world because people, other people will have to deal with that. You don't want to be the person at your job that everyone has to deal with. You know, the person that shows up late all the time, not a team player. You have to always pick up the slack. I, I don't want that for my kids. So we're going to start like just doing things, things differently. I'm trying to find something to watch. We're gonna start doing things differently. They're always on phones or iPads, stuff like that. And it's just, yeah, it's not getting them anywhere in life. I don't want them to be completely blindsided when it comes to like, you know, things that are out there in the world as far as like, you know, social media stuff, things like that. But I don't want that to be your life because that stuff actually isn't reality. London, for instance, the other day, she was sitting here furious, going crazy, crying and everything because of Roblox. Something happened on Roblox and she just went crazy. I'm like, okay, you need to calm down. I was like, this is not real. Like, you know, this is not real life. Oh, she ran me down. Like this is real it is real it's real and i'm looking at her like this is all my fault like this is my fault and i'm going to change this for you to think that what goes on in that game is real it's baffling it's mind-blowing and it's sad it's really sad so all that electronic stuff like that stuff is going to cut out I don't care what they do, it won't be electronic. So you can sit in the house bored if you want. They both got bikes for Christmas. You know, go outside, ride your bike, you know, do something other than being on the phone. What are you learning from the phone? And iPads, like really. So that's, that's my rant for today. And you know, if you guys have kids that are, oh, Martin's on, you gotta watch. Martin, you guys have kids and you feel the same way. I know lots of parents feel like this person I was talking to earlier today was like, yeah, my kids are spoiled and I know it's my fault. And you know, what do you do? You start making a change now. That's what you do. It's like, get up, get out of the house, find something to do, you know, make, make a difference in the world. Don't sit back. Lazy people are the worst. You sit back and expect everyone else to do the work for you. And you just, you know, just lounge around. Hey, well, somebody's going to pay for that. Who's going to pay for it? I work all the time, you know. So I have the privilege of getting the things that I want and need. That's a privilege because I put something out there in society. If you're putting nothing out, don't look for anything in return facts <laughs> yeah and I don't I don't want to raise mediocre children oh I have oh we don't have HBO never mind I don't want to raise mediocre children because I'm not a mediocre person and for me to have like a product of like kids that are mediocre like it's just not gonna fly with me so we're gonna have to change it up this is about changing your kid's life. This is a brother. I just did a whole lot of talking and I need to be eating. 
the sleep is gonna be so like how do you guys sleep listen I have no problem going to sleep none absolutely no problem I will pass out probably in about the next 15 to 20 minutes and it's a good sleep now I sometimes wake up in pain because I don't really know like I sleep on my couch a lot I still don't really care about sleeping in my room I guess I'm so accustomed to sleeping on the couch now because I did it for so many months but um yeah I have no problem going to sleep boom <laughs> guys it is 6 36 a.m on a friday i am getting ready for work there's no children here that i need to wake up to get to school or back home which makes my morning quite easy so um, I have this mask on because I had it like for about eight months and just never used it. I found it at Target. So I'm going to wash that off in the shower. I have been doing some stretches. I think I did not do enough stretches. I know I didn't do enough stretches, but um, I'm trying to get this inflammation out of my body because that's what's going on with my body. I am in pain um, 24 hours a day, actually. I'm always in pain and I'm just doing some research as to why. Um, it sounded like vitamin D. <clears throat> it's sounding like I'm consuming way too much sugar. Duh, refined sugar. Of course I am. Coffees every day, wine at night. I snack on the job most times. I am going to go to Whole Foods and get some nuts and stuff to snack on. But even so, they say don't do like a whole lot of nuts. It's like so many rules to being healthy. And it's like, what are you really supposed to do like in life? Uh, grains, shouldn't be consuming that. Come on, like what am I gonna eat, you know? And I don't drink enough water also. So this is, I'm on my second bottle of water second and a half actually so when i finish this will be second and a half and i just want my body to feel better <clears throat> i want to feel better i want to look better i need to exercise more i need to for sure start intermittent fasting again i fell off <laughs> and I'm gonna jump back on I just feel so I wake up in pain I go to sleep in pain so I do I am able to sleep well but I can feel pain in my body so I don't know if it's really sleeping well or not yeah I'm gonna take you guys in the bathroom uh, for a little while anyway I'm about to go in the shower <laughs> this is what I look like <laughs> Ooh, I can't even smile well I'm gonna take you in the room first I am trying to fold some clothes there's so many clothes I have <laughs> listen let me put you guys up here <clears throat> Water, showered, dressed, hair fix, makeup, nails look a mess, uh, but I'm ready to walk out of the door. As soon as my coffee's done, it's taking forever, but my house looks clean. My house is clean. London has her toys here. I'm going to get her a toy box because this right here out in the open. Oh, yeah, so totally not feeling that. So I'm going to get those in a toy box. I found a cute toy box that actually is the color of that, of this uh, entertainment stand. And I need to grab some of these for work. I'll put them in here. Oh, I think the coffee is done. Files done. I think. Um, yeah, so I feel really good. My house is so clean. I work today off tomorrow. I don't know why I still have this Christmas thing out. 
off tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping I just have like an easy route today. Like, I don't know what they're trying to do me, do to me. I don't need tests. Like, I'm too old for that. Like, just leave me alone. Let me do my, um, let me get my job and go home. I need to leave soon. For some reason, it always scorches. And for the life of me, I cannot understand. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go to work now.